Welcome to the very first MasterChef Singapore. So we've been scouring the nation seeking out the best amateur cooks. Your food was of the highest caliber and your passion to improve really stood out to us. So congratulations, you're the top 18. Aries, how does it feel to be the top 18? Exhilarating, like really exhilarating. I didn't think that I would be here. <laughs> My name is Aries. I am a freelance makeup artist. And you no, know, I'm 28 this year. I have no boyfriend, I have no career, but I love cooking. And MasterChef came about. The universe is telling me something. It's slapping me in the face. Yes, let's do it, let's do it. And here I am. Now, each of you has a chance to make your mark in the culinary world and chart a new course in your life. Draw on your passion, draw on your heritage. Draw on the wonderful melting pot that is Singapore. Your being here is proof that dreams can become reality. Today, 10 of you will earn your aprons and go on to compete in the MasterChef kitchen. And eventually, one of you will be crowned Singapore's MasterChef. That journey begins right now. Off you go to your station. Let's go, guys. Rock and roll. This is going to be a baptism of fire. You're going to be making a condiment that is the cornerstone of Singapore cuisine. You'll be making... Sambal! Right. Sambal? Seriously, sambal? I'm like, that's what I live for. Bring it on. Bring it on. I never do my homework. I haven't done sambal. I'm dead. This challenge is not just about seducing our senses, but it's also about speed. As soon as your sambal is ready, raise your hand and we'll taste it. If your sambal meets our expectations, you are safe. And the first three to finish earn their place in the MasterChef kitchen. But if we taste your sambal and it doesn't cut it, you have to start all over again. So be very careful when you decide that you're ready for us to taste it. The challenge ends when the last three contestants are still at work. And those last three contestants will be eliminated. No, not today. Not on the first day. I'm not ready to go home yet because I'm here to win all the way. That's why I'm here. You've got a ton of aromats here. Know what it tastes like and get that into your flavours, OK? Get the flavours right. Get your aromatics right so your sambal not only tastes good, so your sambal also smells good. Prepare to chop and pound because your challenge starts now! I've never actually tried making sambal, but I've eaten sambal, so I'm hoping that my taste buds can guide me. I don't like sambal at all, but I, I kind of know how to do it. Perfect sambal must be spicy, sweet and tangy at the same time. I'm feeling nervous, as because um, usually I make sambal using a, a blender. So right now I'm using molten pesto, I just need to go back to my roots and pound them hard. I'm excited for this sambal. Taste some good sambal. I think cooking sambal is like an experiment. Like when the smell comes hit your nose, boom, you feel it. Oh, I got that right taste. Then I taste it. Ah, yes, I think I got that. Come on, guys. The first three goes right through. All right. Oh, first right, two. we've got two. Joshua first, followed Joshua. by Nicholas. I put up my hand first after confidently tasting the dish twice. I call it a fast and furious sambal blachan. Whoa! Here we go. Ah. Yes, from me. Definitely. Top 10. Awesome. OK, let's try this. A bit drier looking. 
nice and chunky though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. That does it for me. Love the acid. You're in. Yeah! Oh my goodness, I'm going to top 10. We aren't going to do any more cooking. That's it. Oh my god, I got it. Sambal is something that I have now done before. Um, I'm not a chili person, I don't eat spicy food. No. Sorry. Sorry. And give it more chilies, yeah? Oil, All right. Oil. As I'm making the sambal, I can see more and more people going up to get their sambal tasted and more hands shooting up. And I definitely started to panic and freak out. But I knew that if I brought a sambal forward that didn't meet their expectations, I would have to restart. So I just sort of just calmed myself down, made sure that I was happy with the flavors. Whoa, this is a good color. Off you go. Excellent. Guys, three are through to the MasterChef kitchen. You've got to pick up your pace. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This looks caramelized, yeah? This looks great. This should go well. Good. Better. You're through. That, nice awesome. One. Next up. Mm. Look at me. You're safe. All right. Yes, this. You are safe. Oh, Liking this. you're safe, mate. Good oh. balance. Very That's good balance. Great. Awesome cooking. Oh, I love the cafe lime that he's got in there. You're in. Oh, guys, half the spots are gone. Now's the time to get cracking. This is not going well. I'm terrified. Oh, OK. Right. Find the sourness first, and the chili kicks in. Where's the chili, Max? Yeah. No. Balance it out a little bit more. Off you go. Okay. Aris, it's really sour. Okay, off you go. Right, Talk to you. So I was so devastated. I was just like, I am tired, man. It is tough. Like I was I was shaking and I was angry and I was like, ah, I don't want to do this. You're safe, babe. <laughs> Don't forget all the other stuff, Max. Sambal is not just about spice, man. Back you go. Off you go. What's missing this time? It's all salt now and nothing else. <laughs> I started panicking, saying that, what's so wrong about my Sambal that those guys got it right, I can't get it right. 